beginning by filling out my bones and taking a wide liner to curve out my bone near my socket. Repeat the same step on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect since skulls are not symmetrical, so don't worry if it's not symmetrical. Now I'm filling out the hollows on my nose and lining them as well. Next, I'm taking a white body and face paint and I'm applying it with a brush all over my face except for the linings that I've drawn. Take a thin brush with a black face paint and define the outline you've made just to make painting in easier. Now I'm painting it all in with an angled brush as it will give me more precision. Same steps now follow for it. the nose as well. I'm outlining my nose and then filling it in with an angled brush. Now I'm creasing my brows and drawing with my liner brush lines on the creases. Following that, you can also draw a few cracks. Take a small blending brush to blend the lines along the edges to create more depth. You want to have depth in the eye socket as well, so begin blending just a bit around it. I decided I wanted a bit more cracks on the top of the eye sockets, so feel free to do so as well, just to make it more realistic. Now follow the rest of the hollows on the face and draw with a liner brush and black face paint all around. I'm sucking in my cheeks to find the hollows and at the same time following along the hollows with the brush. And don't forget your temples as well. Time for the teeth. Begin by drawing lines all across your lips and mid cheek area on each side and top and bottom.
to make the teeth look more realistic, we'll shape them as if they're coming out of the core. Now take a brown eyeshadow and start blending all of the black edges and we're going to make the skull look realistic as possible by blending to add as much depth as possible. I'm also blending out inside the teeth a little bit since they are not stark white just like the rest of the skull. So just a little bit of blending goes a long way. It will look so much more realistic. Now you can add just a little bit of more white paint where the cheekbones are located just like a highlight to bring forward the higher parts of the skull. Moving on to the neck, which of course is optional. Again, with the white paint, add a thick white line and create the bones along the neck. Outline the white painted bones and paint the outside all black, leaving only the white painted bones visible. Now with the liner brush and the black paint, just draw thick lines all the way down the neck. For the final touches, before we finish the look, just blend as much more as you want. Um, I'm blending it as much as possible since a real skull has many depths to it. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Halloween.